What's up, Internet? I'm in here, and you're watching a small entertainment. Cat myself. So, as you probably realized, I changed my channel name. I did come up with the, my friend and I did come up with a different title, Swell Entertainment, because I don't know if you realize, but I say swell quite a bit. And um, so, yeah, it's no longer a production's channel, it's entertainment, so I have a more variety, variety of being able to make videos. Not that it really matters, considering it's my channel, I can do whatever I want. Oh, it has been way too long since I've worn my Josh shirt. That's just unacceptable. Probably knows my hair's curly. Um, yesterday I had senior photos. So I curled my hair and it was all nice and fluffy and then I went to bed and my hair's clean so I don't want to shower. But yeah, I don't have the energy to break out my flat iron and straighten it or make it look any semi-decent. So you guys get my awkward lopsided curled head. Anyway, so this is a Netflix horror review. I'll be reviewing teeth. Let's get started. So on Netflix, Teeth came out in 2007. It's rated R. It's runtime is an hour and 33 minutes. And its description is very basic. It says, don't get fresh with this girl, dash, dash. She bites back with a very strange, very deadly anatomical quirk. Spoiler alert, her V is T. So for this video, try to figure out a way that I could say it without actually saying it because for this video, it's literally talking about that. And because I don't want to get in trouble, I don't have the, and because I don't have the energy to fight with my parents about what I can and can't say in my videos, I'm, and I don't want to get any hate comments or saying that the, my video is inappropriate because I keep saying V word, the V word, I'm basically just going to call it a V because people are afraid of female genitalia for some odd frickin' reason. Probably because they saw this movie, actually. Mine and finally makes sense. Everyone saw this movie and that's why they're afraid of female sexuality. Anyway, the description for this movie is basically it. Spoiler alert, her V is T. She didn't know that. The movie is about a girl named Dawn who's in the purity club and she's literally like one of the heads of like a purity organization. It's kind of great. She doesn't really talk about religion as much. She talks about it being a sacred vow, but they don't really talk about God at all, which, is, which I thought was cool because usually when people talk about purity and abstinence, you usually hear about God being worked in with, it's like, oh, it's you're saving yourself and all that stuff. They do talk about saving yourself for marriage, but they don't really talk about it being God's choice to flower yourself or anything like that, which is great. I have notes. Body count. Okay, there's literally only, was it two? Why did I have two? I put the body count as two, and that was like a tentative two. There's only one guy you actually see die, or you actually see his body. Oh, we know it is two. It is two, okay? I can't tell you who dies, but one guy and then one girl, or one woman. One guy, one woman. Um, the woman is nothing, the woman dying is nothing to do with the teeth though, which I thought was like different, but it also kind of prompts the whole, yeah. Okay, gore. <laughs> you see like three severed dicks. The fact that I can't say V, but I can say dicks is ridiculous to me. Moving on. Um, so yeah, you see like three severed dicks. Seriously, you see where it was severed, and you see the actual severed dick. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, it was actually really gross to look at, but yeah, so it's pretty gory. You also see some severed fingers. Those scenes are pretty bloody, um, part where you see a lot of asses, dudes asses. Um, congratulations guy, you see Dawson boobs at one point, um, towards the end, one point towards the end, I'm not gonna give you the actual time because then you won't watch the actual movie. Where's the fun in that? The title sequence for this movie was really cool. I mean, it was all CGI and everything, but the way it was done and the music set to it is actually really nice. It's cool because it's a cool little setup and you don't exactly know what's going on. You just know that it's like kind of set up like a hunt almost. 80% of me is certain that this is where the American Horror Story Coven writers came up with Zoe's Black Widow Killer V thing from this movie. Unless it's like another thing that I just didn't know about, but yeah. Meet when her uh, love interest, well she has like three in this movie. Anyway, when her main love interest, music starts playing and she gets all wistfully. And the first thing that goes through your mind is, oh my god, it's that kind of movie. No problem with that kind of movie, it's just for the horror movie, I was like, are you serious? Okay, and I would like to say, these people live like right in front of a nuclear power plant. I feel like some of their issues in this could be avoided if they didn't live right next to a nuclear power plant. As she's bedazzling her shirt, you heard that right, she's bedazzling her abstinence shirt, it's swell. Anyway, 
she, her room is all pink and she's playing this like abstinence sound and the music is all light and airy like waiting is wonderful and her room is all pink and purple it's kind of looks like it was meant for a five-year-old or some teenage girls have that room that's your choice i really don't care that's to her brother and he is like heavy screamo music playing and his room is all black and he's got pictures of naked chicks everywhere smoking a joint he's covered in tattoos and he's got like an lip piercing or nose piercing, I totally forgot. He's got like an eyebrow piercing, he's got faux hawk and black hair, and it's like night and day. Demon versus fairy princess. Aren't modern families just swell? As she's walking to school, kids are like attacking her, but she looks like prepared for it. Like this happens normally. People visibly attack her because she's abstinent. That's freaking stupid. As a high school student, okay, I can assure you, no one really cares. It's just my school, but everyone's more preoccupied with their own crap and figuring out school and their life and all the crap at home and whatever the heck's going on with their friends and family or whose party they're going to Friday. No one really actually cares about who's getting laid and who's not. Seriously, no one really cares. If you're getting laid, good for you. If you're not, good for you too. No one actually cares. Movies like this, like where they talk about sex head or anything, have an an always have an anatomical, an anatomically diagram of a dick. They put a freaking giant gold sticker over the diagram of a V and apparently it's school regulated they think that it's not appropriate for school to be showing that in this movie is basically everything I think is wrong with society so Don the guy's name is Toby and then their two friends who are dating um, go to see a movie and they're literally judging the movie that they're going to see by how much making out is in it. See, they're, they're that movie because it's R. Oh, we can't see that one because even the PG-13 one is going to have heavy making out. And so they go see like a kiddie movie. It's great. In the movie, Dawn and her friends go to like this, they walk out to um, this clearing or whatever where there's water, where there's like a waterfall and stuff. And it's actually really cool. Um, but apparently there's a cave where people do it and they look at it and this music plays and they act like there's a flesh-eating monster inside of it. <laughs> this movie's great. The brother's like visibly afraid of these. If you've seen the movie up to this point, it makes more sense, but he seems visibly afraid of these. Don and Toby are sitting, talking, and they're sitting by the, the water and everything, and they're, t and they're talking, and Toby just suddenly admits, oh, in his eyes, in his eyes, talking about God. I don't think that means that he said sex. I think it's mean that he's a that he's just jerked it. They have this sound effect that makes it sound like he just admitted to murdering five people. It's fantastic. <laughs> like a day or two later, whatever, she goes into her brother's room because she heard him and his girlfriend fighting about something. Like, I know we never been close, but if you want, you can talk to me. And he's like, I know why you've been saving yourself. And he thought she was saving herself for him. They're step siblings, but that's still freaking weird, okay? This movie is like a horror rom com. So she meets Toby at the water, okay? And she's like, I brought my bathing suit and literally her suit has is a one piece but it has ruffles and a bow and then so they're talking and she basically admits to th that she has fantasized about toby people actually do that you admit to things like that <laughs> that's great that's fantastic i mean like good on you for like having the guts to do that i'd probably if i said that i'd probably want to crawl into a hole based on how the water scene seems like it's playing out i feel like i feel like this is more of an indie film than a horror flick anyway so those two start kissing within the minute his hand goes removed she's like she grabs his hand and holds the ring with her ring with her hand that has the ring on it and she's like purity and then starts swimming away and he swims after her and then they go into the cave which is like you know people have done it in the cave and you're trying to stay pure why would you willingly go into the cave? I'm gonna read the rest of this off my, my all the rest of my review that I wrote off my computer because my phone hates me. So they go into the cave, okay? And there's a bed in the freaking cave. And I'm trying to think of how they got a mattress into the cave when it's there's a waterfall covering. So the mattress would have been soaked. It's probably still soaked. It probably does not smell very nice, and I don't know why people would want to have sex on it. Apparently, abstinence makes guys crazy. I like to think that males do have self-control and that they do take no for an answer, but unfortunately there's a lot of them that don't. Toby, unfortunately, is one of them. So there is a rape scene. It's really short though. You don't really see much. It gets cut off. Literally. <laughs> That's not funny. They do show where his dick was supposed to be. Not pretty at all. Like I said, you see his severed dick. She freaks out, gets out of the water, goes home, and basically leaves him because he fell into the water and then she can't see him. So she goes home and she goes to an abstinence 
talk the next day. In front of like a horde of children, she admits that she's no longer pure and she's all kind of out of it, but these children are like chanting at her, saying, he who's pure and da 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 da, and there's a lot of God in this. I take that back, what I said. They do talk about God a lot. It just wasn't a main focus in the beginning. No matter what I do with my life, never let me have a job where children chant and sink at me, because that's kind of terrifying. This is terrifying. And the fact that this is rehearsed, and they're all monotone, it's creepy as hell. You do eventually see the diagram of the V. Um, she brings the paper home and like puts it in water and like gets the pick, um, makes the uh, thing over so you see it, which, so she looks up basically teeth. She gets all these different hits and stuff like that and, but the one thing that sticks out is dentata, gotten for teeth, and basically it's what you think. She has teeth in her V. And they're supposed to be conquered by a hero. There's someone who likes girls and you need a reason to stay abstinent. Watch this movie. You won't want to have sex for a while. You should be thoroughly terrified. This was a gynecologist to get looked at and stuff happens. His fingers end up getting cut off. But the gynecologist knew what dentata was and started screaming at her as she ran out. Dentata, dentata, it's dentata, I knew it. And like really, just happened to know what dentata was and there's never an explanation. Do all gynecologists know what dentata was? Are they taught to look for it? Do they learn that in med school? By the way, every few million years, you may run into a woman with teeth in her V. It's called Dentata. You need a hero to conquer it. Is that like how that works? Don't go into details so you don't know. It's open for speculation. She goes to a guy's house who tried to hit on her. And she literally has like a breakdown and just starts spouting about how she, they need to be conquered and teeth. Calm, she calms her down. He gives her some stuff. For, he gives her some of his mom's stuff for her nerves. And she's kind of out of it. And so she walks back into the room and she's in a towel. There's candles everywhere. Okay. Dude, this girl just had a breakdown. Okay. Literally, like tears, sobbing, not fun. Your first thought is to set a sexy atmosphere? Come on, dude. The next scene starts out unconsensual, but then when she wakes up, she's like, they'll get you. She's like, no, they'll get you. And he's like, no, it's okay, I'm conquering them. And then they do the do, and nothing happens. So by the way, right after this, the next day is when you see your boobs. There you go. The next day, they do the do it again. They have sex again. They have sex again, and he's trying to be sexy. And I gotta do this right away. He was all like, oh yeah. He's all like, Ooh. and he's like trying to make faces. And the only thing going on in my mind is, what kind of porn does this guy watch to make him think that that was attractive or sexy in any way, shape, or form? So he picks up the phone while she's on top of him. And then he's like, say something. And she just says, what the hell was that? And he's like, oh yeah, I had a bet with my friend that you, um, weren't as pure as she thought, that your sacred vow was not as sacred as she thought, and she gets frustrated, and then the teeth happens. How the teeth work is that she has to feel safe, and it has to be consensual, and she has to want it. And she has to trust the guy. He broke said trust by placing, by admitting the right back while she was on top of him. He could have saved himself. He doesn't die, okay? But you do see a severed dick. <laughs> you do see a severed dick. You do see his dick, and you see the spot. And then he just, and then she just, she's like, oh great. And so she gets up and she's like, oh great. And then like leaves. She's not even scared of it anymore. She's just over it. After that, um, there's another dad. Not gonna tell you who, because of this, there's an awkward, slightly incest scene. There's step siblings, but it's still weird. See another dick. And then she leaves. She um, she literally starts hitchhiking. This movie is basically just one big ad for consent. It's great. Now, by the way, there's only really like one or two jump scares. This movie is pretty good. So for the quote for this movie, um, it's uh, not actually said by any of the main characters, but I thought it was funny. Um, basically, it's after the whole... Um, Ryan is the guy that um, John actually sleeps with, and um, after he's in the surgeon's office, he's in the he's in he's going into surgery and the surgeons are like prepping him to reattach his penis and the surgeon looks down getting ready to attach it and he looks and he says and he just looks up and says hardly seems worth it and everyone just starts laughing and so that honestly really has nothing to do with the movie aside from making fun of the guy's small penis i thought it was funny that's basically it for this netflix horror review thank you all for watching um i my friend hannah and i who you guys know from my original um shit five sauce fam says video We'll be making a, another one since I made that one in December. It's almost August. I'm also thinking about making a shit horror fans or horror fiends say. Um, not sure when that'll be out. Hey, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff for more Netflix horror reviews and videos. As I mentioned earlier, this is now Swell Entertainment, and I will have a logo soon enough. Right now, it's just going to stay MG Productions. 
But yes, uh, thank you for watching and oh, sleep tight.